Um, so I was wondering, where, where did you first get the idea of doing voiceovers? What, how, what was that? Where did that come from? Um, well, Ashley, my daughter and I, who's also a stand-up comedian and broadcaster, um, we've been doing this for years. We sat with the television on and we watched what we did at the day. There was a Charlton, uh, it wasn't a Charlton Heston, was it Charlton? There was a film on today, an old black and white film, and it, um, but Lancaster. And it was, it was set in the 60s and a man that just swam in pools and then at the end he died. Yeah. yeah. Her and I were voicing over, oh, it's freezing, we can't get any of this goose. And it was like, funny, somebody gave Bart a towel, he's chilly. So we've been sitting voice over films for like 12, 13 years. We do it during the day when we get up and we put the TV on and the two is just sit and talk over the top of a film. And then I took it, took it a step further. I've been doing voiceovers online viral way before the First Minister stuff. I did it three years ago. And of course, um, that became the basis of the Soup Pot Tour where I did live voiceovers on stage. And I toured England and I toured Scotland with it. Oh, that, that's great. So why, why did you focus particularly on animals and politicians? I mean, with some um, politicians, you cannot, you know what I mean? It's an insult. Yeah, I did focus on that because I think politicians are infinitely boring. So they need somebody to give them a voice because it's just blah, blah, blah. So it's best I talk over that. And I love Johnny Morris as a wee girl. I used to watch Animal Magic and it was wee animals talking. And there's nothing... Oh nothing makes me laugh more than animals talking. It is my thing. So I'll get wee honey and get a wee carrot and make her mouth move and then I'll make her talk. Makes me die with laughter. And then there's wee beavers punching each other in the throat. There's two cats having a fight. There's two big birds being gossips. There's a bird that opens its feathers and go pick a card. I love that. That's my favourite thing. It seems like your, your stuff about the pandemic, people have taken it on, in the right way. I mean, Nicola Sturgeon must be quite a good sport, really, because she's sort of... Uh, she is. I think that what I was doing was, as I was, um, I was revoicing the message for coronavirus. I was her anger translator. So when she was saying, like, if you could all just stay in the house, um, and I'm like, stay in the house! Don't make me come out there and put my throat up the crack of your behind. So I was just making it a wee bit more exaggerated. And people found that funny. So weirdly, I talk and people laugh sometimes. So who knew that was a thing? Jenny, if someone was to do voiceover for your life, who would that be then? Who would you pick? Ashley. She knows me better than anybody. She would do it. 